Little Sparks Episode 2, The Foundry, The Crucible, and The Burner That's Inside. First up, The Crucible. This is the only part that I didn't make by hand myself. It's a Bravo 10 compressed graphite. The Bravo means it's bilge type. 10 is the size. I could be wrong, but I think it holds about 10 pounds of aluminum. It is eight and a half inches tall, six and a half inches across. Again, that part I didn't actually make myself. For the foundry, it's a propane tank that I drained, cut the top off of it, welded on a frame out of the same square stock that I used to make my crucible lifter. And again, you can see I'm definitely not a welder. I drilled a hole in the bottom, used refractory concrete in the, in the base, and I set some dowels in it and shoved a dowel down through the hole. In case the crucible fails, the aluminum can all flow out the bottom there. And then I made a simple cardboard mold for the interior diameter here. And the outlet for the torch comes in at an angle, which creates a swirl. And then when I cut the lid off of it, I used a planter's peanut can right here for this diameter, filled it with the same refractory concrete. Now inside that, before I poured the concrete, there's actually four little metal rods. Let's see if I can make one show up. Right here. I welded it in and then ground it down flush, but there's four rods. To cut across it like that to hold the concrete in. Seems to work out fine. For the burner, you can see again my fantastic welding skills. I just took a gate latch and this is a black iron pipe. It is about nine inches long ish, roughly, probably ten with all the threading and a simple plumbing piece screwed onto the end of it. This here is where it takes the air in. Let's see, it's an uh, inch and a half on this end and two and a half on this end. It's about three and a half inches long and the air intake is right at two and a half. And then I did some plumbing step downs. This one on the end is a compression fitting. And that's what takes this nipple from this end. It's just a, a ball valve and then a stick, tiny little hole on it. And this whole kitten caboodle just squishes on in to that compression fitting. Get it wiggled all the way in there like that. You see where it goes past it in there? So it actually squirts the gas about here and air intake here. And a big rotary flame comes out there. On the other end of that burner is just another standard barbecue grill propane tank except I got a regulator that goes from 0 to 30 psi. I was running a barbecue grill regulator at 10 psi and it got the job done but it took too long for my taste. I find that uh, I light it at about 10 psi and then I'll ramp it up to about 18 sometimes 20 and it uh, gets up to operating temperature in about eh, 15 minutes or so it'll start melting aluminum cans real quick. 
So you open the tank up. I usually set my pressure to about 10 PSI when I start it. Once I get it going, I'll run it around 15 to 20 PSI. And then you got your crucible set in there. It's nice and centered. And a stick lighter. Turn it on. Give it a light. Hey, thanks for watching. Next time I'll go over my hot wire cutter and the sand I use to make the molds.